Okay, here's the opening riff for Smoke on the Water. There's actually more than one way to play it, and the, the way that most people do is as a bar chord, just the lower notes of a bar chord. That's, that's the riff that's outlawed in most music stores on Saturday mornings. <laughs> you know, they, they see, see the sign and say, no smoke in the water. The recording of it has a low uh, frequency in there, and I'm not sure if it was from John playing on the organ the, the first two times, but it, it's obvious to me, Roger remixed it, and he said, no, no, it's, it's just the guitar, so maybe Richie had uh, um, a little bit of a low harmonic going there with, with a uh, device or something. In any case, because you, you hear that, that lowness, that's why most people play it as a bar chord, I believe the right way to play it is as fourths, where the, the Check out the right hand. Here's, here's the first way. And here's using two fingers at the exact same time to grab the strings and lift up. to add the bass part, which you wouldn't have to do, because the, the, ordinarily the bass player would come in with that. But by using the fingers of your right hand, grabbing the strings, pulling up slightly, you get extra harmonics, and both the strings sound at exactly the same time. Whereas when you strum, they, there's that momentary difference of time. So to me, it gets a little heavier, a little bit more impact by, by grabbing the strings and pulling them, and, and of course playing it as force instead of the full octave and uh, fifth, put the full octave and fifth, like this, and the fourth. So, anyway, if, if you're covering that song, try this method and see if it works for you.